Hey, my little monsters. This is Lady Gaga. Yeah, the case of Plaza. <laughs> Just kidding, it's John Lover, sorry. I figured for OK Good Talk this week I should make it something that's a little bit more relevant. And since the Logies were only six months ago, I figured it would be best to talk about how to accept an award. For example, if you're James Cameron and you're accepting an award for Titanic, don't scream, I'm the king of the world! Woo! Because everyone will think you're an idiot. I'm so sorry for that. To celebrate the theme of Academy Awards, I'm sitting in a director's chair. What? There's definitely a sort of protocol you have to follow when you're accepting an award. You see, statistics have shown that 150% of people that are watching this video will have to accept an award at some point in their life. So here's some smooth tips to make sure that you do it right. Now the first rule is probably the most important one. Remember to be humble. I know, I know I'm amazing. Let's just call off the Olympics. <laughs> Big shot actors and actresses are acting like they're the only people that have ever gotten awards before. Like, yeah, you're famous, but people are also famous for giving blowjobs in adult films, so let's not split hairs about this. And they get awards too. They're probably weirdly shaped. Now probably the most important rule is to make sure that you thank God. I'd, uh, I'd really like to thank God, because, uh, you know, without him, I, I wouldn't be here right now. But you've got to make sure that you don't alienate your audience and have people hate you. So make sure to thank every God. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'd also like to thank Buddha, uh, Vishnu, Egyptian God Ra, Charles Darwin, Yahweh, L. Ron Hubbard, Horned God, Glory from Buffy. Hun Hao, protector of the Mayan underworld, and Satan. Now the most important rule of giving an award speech comes down to the people that you name in your thank yous. We get it, you're a big shot, but don't just make up names to sound more important. It's obvious. Uh, I'd really like to thank Bobby, uh, and, and Peter, and Jan, and Mike, uh, and Marsha, and Carol, and Alice. And probably the most important thing to do if you don't win, or even if you do win, actually, is to call it on the waterworks, okay, Dawson's Creek. You know, without them, I, like, I, I knew that we would be much, much more than a bunch. And this group, this group must, must somehow form a family. And that's the way, the way that we became. I'm sorry. And of course, if you don't win, don't be put off by the camera that spins around and looks at all the nominees' faces as they're all like, that's probably the golden rule to this. Don't look at me. I'm not in your Truman Show. But again, the most important rule of defeat is to not let your opponent know that they got to you. Try not to do anything rash. Okay, okay, look, look, look. I'm not saying that it was a well thought out idea, but let's just try to figure out how to get our junk apart, huh? But the most important rule of them all, when the music plays to shove you off stage because you're taking up way too much time and space, is to not let it psych you out. If you're accepting an award for being an actor, chances are you're crap at everything else that's arts related. So when you hear the music, it's merely an orchestral piece. There's nothing important to it. Make sure you don't confuse the get off the stage lyrics with something else. Awkward. Zing. And I can't even begin to describe what an unbelievable privilege and honor it is to have this award and I... I dance Australia fair Now you can handle anything Anne Hathaway throws at you. This is the kind of stuff they don't teach you in high school. I hope you've walked away a few IQ points higher. Okay, good talk. My ship crash landed on the peak of Mount Gaga. 
I can see your feelings. Curious. Mm. You're my cutest friend. White-haired category. This is what I'm doing with my Saturday night.